Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. We are starting off today with the old favourite, a quest item for the uh, fishing quest. We've got the unicorn fish here, which is very, very nice. So we're going to begin today by handing this bad boy in. Let's see what we get. <gasps> no! Oh my god. I mean, it's cool. I could already do this thanks to that trick that I showed you guys several episodes ago. But check it out. We got the freaking thing. We actually got it. The bottomless water bucket. Wait, how many quests have I done now? Was that the 100th? Uh, 99th. Okay. Wow. I have never had this item before in Terraria. Now, the, the counterpart item to this is what I was mentioning before, which is basically the infinite sponge, right? So, I don't know, man. It would be cool to try and get that. It really would. Alrighty, guys. So, what we're going to be doing today is actually going to be from a suggestion from one of you guys. Hollow HD has this to say. Hey, Python, you should make your own biome with paint buckets. You can paint trees and grass to make them a different color. Their question is, what is your favorite mount in Terraria so far? Now, here's the issue. I genuinely can't pick out a favorite mount. I've got three favorite mounts. One of them being the unicorn, you know, the blessed apple because of its raw speed. Uh, the second one being the DCU, the drill containment unit, of course, because, you know, it digs things insanely fast. And then, of course, the third one coming off from that is going to be, of course, the cosmic car key for infinite flight. And it's just brilliant. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, check it out. We've got orange paint here. It is October. It is the month of Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating our very own biome. And not only will we be making ourselves a nice orange biome, but we're also going to be adding a little bit of danger into it. In that, I think it would be a cool idea if we place down a bunch of meteorite ore, therefore creating our very own meteorite biome. So the meteorite biome is going to be the base biome, but then we're going to dress it up all with, you know, with with orange stuff. It's going to be a fantastic time, guys. It really, really is. And I'm looking forward to actually undertaking this because it's not something I've ever done before. I've never actually created my very own biome. Uh, so, yeah, this should be, like, really very cool, actually. So we've got four meteorite here, which obviously isn't enough. But guys, the good news is we do indeed have another meteorite to dig up, which is just over here. Now, in terms of the location of this new biome, I'm thinking right over here. And what I was thinking is when we get to the point where we could start taking down the pumpkin moon, which, you know, just natural fits in, doesn't it? We could start using the spooky wood and we can replace this tree with spooky wood. And I think that would look absolutely fantastic. We could paint the leaves in, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a fantastic time, guys. So, guys, if you're excited for this brand new project for Python's Realm, Python's Realm, Python's World, Let's Play Terraria. Oh, my word. I've got so many series called Python's X that it's actually kind of insane. You've got old Python's Realm, which, by the way, isn't going anymore. You've got Python's World, which is my Minecraft Enders Let's Play. And then you've got my Let's Play Terraria World. So, um, yeah. Plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to grab ourselves a turn of dirt. That is right. Let's grab ourselves all the dirt. We're going to grab ourselves out the staff of regrowth so we can, uh, you know, grow grass on it as well, of course. And then, yeah, guys, we're going to do this thing. We're going to blow up that spare meteorite biome and we're going to use that meteorite to make our own biome. Yes. Yes. Sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. Ah, time for my favorite time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's blow this poor sucker up. Well, it's not a poor sucker. It's a it's a piece of crap, actually. Right. Uh! Okay, well, I survived that just about. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Well, that's the... Uh, that was a fair amount of the meteorite already blown up. I'll take that. Look at that. We've already got enough to make ourselves a new biome. Right, uh, we'll have one down there. One down here. One down here. One down here. And then one up here. There we go. Oh! Hey! You've been trying to destroy me. Get out of here, you bunch of jokers. Is that it? Uh, no. The music is still going, which means the biome is still, you know, the biome. Uh, so we've just got to start manually digging out some of these bad boys, and then we should be good to go, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, guys. So slowly but surely, we are working on the terraforming of this particular area. I've decided to dress up this pond just a little bit so we can use it for fishing within our Halloween biome. 
And guys, yeah, just like I say, we're just slowly making progress with this thing. So in order to turn this into a hostile biome, which is what we're going to be doing, and I'm pretty sure you can still have NPCs live in a meteorite biome, right? What we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting like a line of meteorite sort of underneath this dirt platform we've got going on here, right? That's the plan. So hopefully we should be able to do it without too many issues. The only issues I can really foresee is uh, building and just constantly being hassled by the meteorite heads. But you know what? I don't think that'd be too much of an issue. I really, really don't. Uh, especially in, uh, you know, normal mode. I feel like the NPC should be able to hold their own against him, right? So, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. I've been proved wrong before. I might be proved wrong again. I've no idea. <laughs> Oh dear. Alrighty guys, let's continue on, shall we? We'll keep going until we've got the terraforming done and we'll start painting and decorating the landscape, I guess. Alrighty guys, so we are nearly done with the terraforming at this point. The traveling merchant has just decided to spawn in, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah guys, pretty much once we get to the snow biome, we're pretty much done with the terraforming, which is really quite awesome actually, because it's about freaking time. <laughs> It's about freaking time, my friends. It really, really is. So, uh, let's just continue getting this done. And then, uh, yeah, we can actually see what the traveling merchant has to offer. I'm hoping the DPS meter, because that is literally the last component in order to make the uh, eventual PDA or cell phone or whatever it's called. I can't remember. Anyway, so, there we go. Yeah, you gotta love the Shadow Flame Hex doll. Always been a good weapon. Always been a good weapon. Really, really has, actually. So, uh, let's just do this. And I'll tell you what, just because I can, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the slope go down here. Do get, go down to this snow biome here. So, yeah, why not? Okay, cool. Right, and then, of course, we've got the final component, which is placing down the grass. And then, yeah, we can start painting all of this stuff. We can get ourselves some custom colored trees of awesomeness. We can make a start. Well, we can't make a start on the buildings until we've got spooky wood, really. But I want to make the biome at the very least, right? So, yeah, we need to place down the meteorite. We need to make this into a spooky hostile looking biome, right? So, yeah, that's the idea. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a fantastic time, my friends. It really, really is. The Eternia Crystal Stand is still there. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. Hello. Come on. Almost there. All right. Nice and easy. And believe it or not, I think that's just about it. Yeah, look at that. A nice flat plane ready to be built upon for our Halloween settlement of awesomeness, guys. It's going to be fan for freaking fantastic. Oh, yes, it is. Right. Uh, should we do a little bit of quick stackage? We've got a lot of stuff in our inventory. A lot, a lot of stuff. Oh, my word. Oh, jeez, man. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look, we've got a meteor head banner. Huh, that could probably come in useful a little bit later. Hey, buddy! DPS meter? Really? Still no? Jeez, man. This is unbelievable. We do have to sell some uh, Dynasty wood, though. So we're going to go ahead and uh, buy some of that. I tell you what, we'll, we'll buy a stack of each of these, because why not? That's just what we're going to do. Dear buddy. All right, and then we'll have one of them. There we go. And I tell you what, we'll have ourselves the red cape as well. Just so we've got ourselves our proper outfit. Because, you know, I like I like the capes in this game. I think they're fabric fantastic, actually. So, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right, where's the walls box? In there. Okay, cool. Right, and then we've got these to go away. Yeah, we've basically got just a whole bunch of trash. Just a whole bunch of trash. Do we even have... Do we have ourselves the die trader? I could have sworn we did somewhere. Oh, he's up there. Oh, well, that's not exactly useful, is it? Jeez, man. Uh, right, I tell you what. He can move into this place down here. Boop. There you go. And then away you go. Right, in the meantime, we can just, like, put the strange plant away. I believe we've got, like, a fair few of these, actually. Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five strange plants. Oh, yep, there's another three, so that's eight. Ow, oh, okay. Eight strange plants. God damn, we're going to get ourselves a nice amount out of that, my friends. Hell yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Ah, now the fun begins, ladies and gentlemen. We are now placing down the orange grass. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this before. I think this is literally the first time. Hey, look at that. Even the plants that grow out of it are also orange. That is fan freaking tastic. All right, so yeah. There is, of course, the Architect Gizmo accessory, which we could have potentially used 
uh, you know, to do this a little bit quicker in terms of our workforce, work speed, work whatever the hell we want to call it. Um, but yeah, we don't sadly have the resources for that. The element we're missing out of that is actually the bricklayer, which once again, yes, you do get from the traveling merchant, but sadly, uh, we don't have it. So yeah, we've got the other three components, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we don't have the rest of it, which kind of sucks, but oh well, doesn't matter. And he's gone anyway, so you know, it doesn't even matter. Oh my god, even the mushrooms are orange. What? That is so cool. <laughs> I did not know that. I didn't realize that the freaking mushrooms would also go orange. Even though they're already kind of orange. Huh. Go figure. Anyway, so yeah, guys, we're slowly but surely making progress with this thing. And once again, I mean, all we can do is just carry on with this and uh, see how far we get, I guess. I mean, it'd be nice if the grass would spread over there because then I'd be able to do this thing properly, I guess. But you know what? We're all good, my friends. We're all good. Let's just go ahead and uh, continue doing this. And yeah, we're going to have ourselves a nice orange looking biome. All right, guys. So we've got all of the orange grass placed down. And as you can see, it's all already starting to get somewhere at this point. Uh, should we have a look and see what color the leaves will go if we try and paint them orange? Let's have a look. Hey, that actually kind of works. Hey. Oh, mate, this is going to be absolutely banging. Once we've got some spooky wood, guys, we can really start to make this tree look a lot better, in my opinion. I feel like it could look absolutely fan freaking fantastic. Uh, we need to make sure that the stalks are also orange. Uh, just so it looks, you know, uniform, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, guys, we're making some serious progress here, my friends. We really, really are. We're going to need to get in here, though, so we can actually, uh, you know, do the rest of it. But, uh, yeah, guys, slowly but surely, making progress. After we've done this, we're going to do the meteorite. And then, yeah, this will become a custom hostile biome. Yeah. So, guys, while I've been doing this, I thought of a pretty cool idea for a way to sort of bulk paint, like, a large area. Because, for example, this tree right here, I can't paint all of it because I can't get to the inside. So, here's my idea. Paint bombs. Hey, eh? Paint bombs? I think that would be an amazing idea. Or some sort of paint powder that you just sprinkle over stuff and that just paints it all or something. I think paint bombs would be a fantastic idea. I really, really do. So... Um, I'm pretty sure we've got a living leaf wand back at base. So if we were to go ahead and grab that out, then uh, we should be good to go. But actually, hang on a minute. I want to do my 100th fishing quest. Oh, look at that. And it's a very, very nice and simple one, guys. You love to see that, my friend. So let's grab out our golden fishing rod real quick. And let's hope for the first catch to be the clownfish. That is what we're looking for. Uh, nope, that is tuna. I like tuna. Like, in real life, it's a fantastic fish, but uh, I don't know, man. Trout, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I've had that before. Uh, red snapper, uh, nope. Again, not had that in real life. Come on, baby wheel, looking for a clownfish. Clownfish, clownfish, clownfish. Clownfish, clownfish, clown. Come on. It's going to be my 100th fishing quest done, my friends. Halfway up to that achievement being done. Oh, my word. Come on. Come on, clownfish. Where you at? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I was going to cut away there, but apparently I have no need to, which is always nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and just uh, quick stack a bunch of stuff. And let's do this. Hey, some bait and some potions. Always nice to see. I'd still love to get that infinite sponge. That would be fantastic. Like, honestly, it would be. But, you know, you can't have everything in the world, can you? So that's totally fine. Right, now then. Uh, tools chest. Yes. Yes, living wood wand and living leaf wand. And also, if I was to grab out this, uh, not this, this paint sprayer, if I actually equipped it, then anything I place down will automatically be dyed orange, right? So, yeah, that's pretty cool. In the meantime, maybe a little bit of a refill of orange paint is in order. Uh, yep, rather like that. Yeah, I'd love to see that, my friends. Awesome. All right, let's get back to it. Ah, there we go, my friends. The paint sprayer, for the first time in my personal Terraria history, actually coming in clutch here. We're placing in these leaves, and they are automatically orange because of the paint sprayer accessory. That's exactly what it does. Uh, you know, as you can see, as I place down these blocks, not only does my wood supply go down, but also my orange paint supply, which is very, very nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like trying new things out, my friends. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Like, that's 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 the whole point of the series. It really, really is for me to actually play the game. 
you know, not to just rush through it in terms of progression or anything like that. I mean, yeah, you could argue we did rush just a little bit when it came to the mech bosses, but honestly, guys, I think we've paced ourselves really freaking well with this series, and I've got to say, I'm very, very happy with it. I really, really am. So, yeah, there we go. We've got ourselves a nice little thing going on here. Oh, look at this custom biome now, though, dudes. This is looking awesome. Yo! Okay, so I feel like the next logical thing would be to get ourselves some nice orange trees going on, right? And I'm thinking we don't place them all uniform like we normally do. We just start randomly placing them in. And I feel like that should look really, really cool. So, yeah, let's grab some trees, place them down, plant them, and then, yeah, meteorite time. I keep putting off the meteorite because I know it's going to be a pain. <laughs> Huh. Well, that was easy, my friends. Pretty much half a stack of acorns have just been planted down. And as you can see, once again, automatically orange. So that should mean they grow into orange trees. Not only that, but I've also got some sunflowers for a little bit of buffage, because why not? I'm kind of tempted to, like, buff the whole area. Like with, uh, like, with, uh, like, uh, what are they called? Like, stars in bottles, uh, heart lanterns, campfires, all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, like I say, we're going to be constantly harassed by... Ooh. Hey, it grew. Ah, What? What is not freaking... Oh man. Oh. Oh, that didn't actually take too much to do, actually. I would have thought that the trees would have been orange straight out, but apparently not. Huh. Well, you know what they say, guys. You learn something new every day. But guys, we are now on to the final element, and that is making this biome hostile. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun one, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> okay, guys, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. It's going to be a fantastic time. We're going to have ourselves a hostile biome here. And it's going to look fantastic. It really is. I'm genuinely looking forward to having this thing done. Yay! We got the Nimbus rod. Ah, oh, freaking yeah. Nice one. Okay, guys, so as you can see, what I'm doing right here is I'm digging out this to be four blocks tall. The reason that is is because one of those blocks height will be used to uh, place down the meteorite and then of course the other three will just be filled in very very simply so yeah so basically just to give you guys a bit of an example if we were to head over this way then we're going to start placing this stuff in oh we are getting burnt right now uh should probably put that on huh <laughs> that'll do the job wouldn't it okay so as we place this thing down we should eventually start seeing some uh some meteorite heads right that's what should happen anyway. What might actually happen? I have no idea. I don't think I've ever created my own meteorite by before. So, yeah. Should be pretty interesting to say the very least. But let's just continue placing all of this stuff in. Uh, we're going to keep going down here rather like so. Like that. Okay. Nice and simple. No sign of any meteorite heads just yet. But what if we head over this way? Yeah! The music has changed! There we go, my friends! We now have a hostile biome. Oh, fantastic. We actually did it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm actually super happy right now, guys. Okay, so all we need to do is uh, dig out this section here as well. And then we're pretty much done. Nice. Oh, everything we've done today so far has actually completely worked. I'm so happy right now. I really am. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, and there we go. The custom-made Halloween hostile biome ready to be built in. Oh, it's just stopped raining as well. Oh, my word. That is fan free fantastic. <laughs> oh, dude, this is looking brilliant, though. I'm so happy that we decided to do this, my friends. I'm so, so happy. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed going to wrap it up for today's episode. I've got absolutely no idea how long this episode has been. If it's been short, then I apologize. If it's been long, then I've no idea. But guys, thank you for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to spend a second to head down below the video. Drop a like rating. It will mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, guys. But that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.